So, good night. So, second uh, round keyser. This time I thought I'd document what I did, make it a little easier on myself, maybe the next time, maybe for somebody else. So, step one, you take the lid off. You got two hinges, and be careful, this one's a little, they're, they got a pretty big spring. Step two, coming up. All right, step two, lids off. I go ahead and make my front and back plate uh, covers first, measure those out, cut them, and I'll put these little sides here. By the way, I have absolutely no woodworking skills, and I can put this together, so I think anybody can put it together. All right, step three, coming up just now. All right, all right, so now we uh, measure up the edges, and then I'm gonna screw this whole thing together, and uh, we're gonna glue it down. Rocking the fade no more. All right. All right, so I don't know what step I am, four or something. All the edges are cut, the frame is made, now it's time to epoxy the wood to the deep freezer. And then we'll stick the lid back on and we'll weigh it down with some empty kegs. Coming up. Okay, so I let the epoxy dry overnight. And as you can see, this shit is rigid. Uh, now, there's a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna go through with some tub and tile caulking um, and just seal around all these edges. You can use clear, you can use whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna use white, I don't plan on painting this. Um, but yep, so, and the next step is uh, to attach the lid and drill some holes for taps. Coming up. All right, I drilled the holes. I went ahead and lined up all four of the shanks. That's it from the back view. And inside there, there's my temperature controller, little Johnson analog. And all that's left to do is run the plumbing and the gas manifold. Plug this baby up. Okay, done deal. There are the four taps. Everything's installed. I already got some kegs in here chilling. All the lines. So, yep. There is how you build a keyser. Thank you for watching.